And welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Last time we did a bunch of stuff, like side questy stuff, and now we're gonna hopefully finish it, but I'm not too confident. One thing I never did in the main quest, because I was just being a space cadet, was I never fused concerns with Favor, Din, and Nehru. This is actually important. You spawn butterflies. The reason I found this out was because you actually can't get the figurine of the butterflies until you actually encounter them. So that is a thing. Um, there's a couple other NPCs I'll point out along the way that you kind of have to talk to. My advice would be try to talk to every NPC you can. Um, I feel like that'd be a safe way to encounter as many characters or figures as possible. But in any case, you just use concerns, budding, but boom. Nothing too complicated here. So we have three pieces of heart, one full heart container, all three butterflies, um, a hidden dungeon. Not a dungeon, like a hidden, like, area. Two more sword skills. And I think that's it. <laughs> okay, I know I just rattled off a lot of information. But that's really all that's left in terms of side quests. Um, luckily for us, two concerns are like right next to each other, so that works out. Uh, I mean, two butterflies are right next to each other. Castle Wilds and um, what is that place called? Uh, Wind Ruins. So that's lucky. We are now actually going to ditch. Hyrule Town, which you may be wondering why, because there's still stuff to do here. But we're gonna do some stuff a little bit out of order. Okay, Caster Wilds. There's like four things we have to do here now. First of all, we need to find the the uh, last dude. That is very descriptive, but you know, we talked to him early, and it's like, you're not worthy, so it's like, now let's try. Blah, 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 blah. So he teaches us um, the great spin attack. So what you do is, um, okay, so he'll possess us, which is weird because he's already dead. So it's like, it's not really a special technique. It's just kind of being a ghost. Basically what you do is charge up and then mash the button and then you can do that. I don't know how useful this actually is, but it's like, you might as well have it. Um, so that's the last Tiger Scroll, by the way, but there's still one more technique that's left to learn. Uh, we'll be getting to that a lot later. Uh, so the butterfly, I think, is... No, it's down here, actually. Uh, it's like... Um, oh, here we go. If you collect the butterfly, the joy butterfly, you can actually dig faster with this one. Each one gives you a special ability. So that's why you want to collect them. Actually, you probably want to collect them earlier than I did. I just didn't know they existed. This one uh, raises the shooting speed for arrows. And thus, we are done in the Castle Wilds. Um, we might be able to get everything done that I want to in one video. So now we are going to go to Lake Hylia. Um, this is easy. It's right here. Uh, this is what we did last time when we fused concerns with one guy. Oh snap. Oh, okay. Rockscape. <laughs> yeah, this is expected to be done late game, so that's probably why. Um. Okay. Uh, I'm kind of cheesing it, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> um. Apologetically, so I might add. And you find the house, and inside the house is this dude. Hey, how'd you find me, kid? You're a real humdinger. So, since you found me, I'm gonna give you my number one treasure. Keep up the good work. And this is a full heart container. Oh, this is going fast. Okay, so now we have to actually navigate back. So I just want to also mention something else that I've been neglecting to mention. That, um... This game is actually a lot longer than I remember it being, because this is often regarded as one of the shortest Zeldas. And yet, this is actually taken just as long as, um, Wind Waker. No, in all fairness, that's not a fair comparison because Wind Waker was like 30 minute episodes, these are averaging around 20 minutes, so... 
yeah, not quite fair, but it's all worth noting that it's actually just taking taking the same episodes. So, like, 10 times 30, so it's like, I don't know. I can't do math right now. I don't want to do math, I'm in school. I want to get out of doing as much math in real life as possible, because I have to do so much in college. Does that makes sense? Okay, so this is 50 rupees. This is useless to us now at this point in the game. But I just want to show that off in any case. So now we need to find the uh, sword master of... Oh, climb up the ledge, Link. Okay, we need to find the sword master of Lake Hylia. And fuse kinstones with him. Okay, Wave Blade actually gives you access to the last main item and last main ability of the game. That is in North West Hyrule Field, I think. Um, it was the Northeast. That's Northwest. Okay, we are actually heading there, so that is pretty lucky, if you ask me. Okay, warp. So the last three pieces of heart I think are in Hyrule Town. No, but there's one in Vale Falls. Never mind. Um, let's actually do that one. Um, so this is not the ideal route because we actually have to go all the way down there. Uh, the more you know, <laughs> I guess. So this is a thing that we saw early on in our adventure. Do I do I just jump down here? I do. Okay. So basically, down here where, you know, the entrance is, this is actually a good routing, act a good route, actually, because it loops us back around where we need to be anyway. The more you know, but anyway, this is what we got from Wakin's Fusion last time, and we get another piece of heart. So there are two more hearts left in the entire game, actually. I do not want to go up there. <laughs> uh, it's probably just rupees or mysterious shells, and frankly, we don't need mysterious shells right now. Um... Okay, so this goes to North Hyrule Field, which is exactly where I want to be right now. Um, yeah, I'll have to keep this routing in mind later on, like, just for saving time on future playthroughs. Uh, is this up here? Uh, I don't think I'm in the right spot, actually. Wow, you can actually do that? Huh, I did not actually know that was there. The more you know. Hey, we found something new that you and I didn't know about in all of my research of this game. It's actually in the lower part, isn't it? Yeah, figured. Okay, so we have to actually go up here. Yeah, we're gonna get down the return pass, actually. Wait, is the Royal Valley... Okay, it's up there, okay. Uh-huh. Like, North High Rules is the one area that I always, I always get lost in. I don't know why. But I just can never get hold of the uh, layout. Can I jump down? Nope, <laughs> not gonna let me, apparently. So we just gotta swim. Okay, you can't do that either. Um, well, that's a predicament. Okay, let's... You have to go out from there, I guess. And here we have the last main ability of the game. Which is, um, Great Blade, who will basically charge up your Great Spin Tack. Um, it's... Just increases the duration of it. That's all it does. Um, nothing special. So, uh, that's it. That is our last move. And it's sadly not one we'll probably ever be using. Because I don't think I have ever used that <laughs> in, like, any LP. Not in any LP, in any playthrough of this game. And this is actually right where we need to be, I should point out. Because uh, we need to go to the Royal Crypt now, because, um... There are two little secrets I want to show off. First of all, at the Royal Crypt, one thing you want to do is actually fuse concerns with literally everybody. Uh, because you actually unlock several ghosts that you can't find otherwise. And thus, you actually need to see them to get the full, like, compendium, I guess you could say. Um, second Easter egg is if you go left, left, left. Okay, so now. And then you go up, up, up. So, one, two, three, you get to a chest, ow, um, with actually 
uh, 200 mysterious shells. The reason the chest is empty is because, well, I kind of need mysterious shells for the uh, kinstone, not the kinstone, the um, figurine quest. So yeah, that's the thing. Um, but yeah, if you feed kinstones with Dampe, you actually unlock a hidden area where you can meet a ghost. Uh, that you don't normally meet, and you could use concerns with them, and that unlocks all sorts of stuff. Um, but this is the last joy butterfly, now we can swim faster. That would have been really helpful just like 10 minutes ago, but oh well. Off we go. I'm talking really fast this video. Trying to get through everything. Yeah, no easy task, actually. So, now what we want to do is because we're right freaking here, we want to go into the school. Um, I had this weird thing happen where I tried to fuse concerns, but I accidentally hit B when trying, and now I can never do the fusion with the, the, the concern fusion with the teacher. I don't know what happened, or if I just misread it, or what. I don't know. Anyway, shrink down here and go into this little patch over here. Get into the little path. Oh snap, these guys. Uh, first of all, you got a concern. That is totally useless to us now. But the more important thing is, you get a four sword spot. Push it up, and you get a lot of stuff. You get a kinstone, which again is pretty relevant now. Because by the time you're this far in the game, you're not gonna have any fusions left. And another piece of heart. And yet another kinstone. All that stuff is basically worthless to us now. Because we're so far in the game, it's like, why give you so many kinstones at the very end? I don't know. Okay, let's try not to get stepped on. Good rule of thumb. Okay, go all the way out to the... Um, yeah, we're gonna do that hidden thing first, and with the other thing. So we never went in down that ladder, I discovered. So that was a bummer. But down here is a thing for only three. You don't even need a full four sword for this, and yet I never got around to it. Um, oh, you need actually four for this. That's fun. Um, push that up, and you get a rock. You push the one from the uh, little dirt path over already, but there's this one now. So now we have two done. Down. I don't know why I said it that way. I, I, I think it was because I couldn't make up my mind if I want to say done or down. That's probably what happened. Um... Lastly, you can actually go down here. Oh, there we go. You can actually drop down the well, which I didn't know about, actually. I've actually been wondering how to do this, like, since I first played the game. And this is how. So, uh, this is rupees. That is useless. Actually, it's not useless. We, we'll need rupees. I'll need rupees. You won't need rupees. Um, do that. Oh, you can still even get through. Pull this to Link's face, it turns bright red. Um, so basically, once you get Link right in front of the hole, you want to just push it. And you get a big rupee again. So, uh, there's more down here. Luckily, we have the remote bomb. That speeds things up quite a lot. Because um, we don't have to wait to the bomb fuses went out. This should blow up this- oh, okay, it didn't. I was hoping it would take out that one too, but it didn't. We have 99, so it's like, no worries in using up bombs. It's not Mega Man 2. And if you don't know, in Mega Man 2, there's a boss where if you don't do it right, you literally lock yourself out and you have to die. So yeah, that's a problem. So this goes to the library, actually. Not the library, the school. Um... So that's... I've never seen that, by the way. Never done that before. So now that we have 600 rupees, I can actually do some off-screen stuff. Use more easily, because I'll have to do some post-game. There's one Zelda that actually has a post-game, which is unusual. There's no, like, hero mode, because this was, like, too early before Nintendo started plugging hero mode into everything. But, in any case, talk to this guy. And the new figurine is Joy Butterfly. Spoiler! Um... So, just for the sake of the LP and not, you know, getting screwed over at the last minute, I'm gonna bet 100. <laughs> just to be on the safe side. Okay. I think 100 is the max you can bet 
anyway, so it's like, oh well. Okay, so this is obviously going to be the droid butterfly. Um, oh, it fell over. Congratulations! You've now collected all the figurines that I've made. I'll keep a good eye on all of your figurines in the case. Please come see them anytime. The case he's talking about is this, where you actually have all of your figures. I'm just gonna hold down and explain why I hate this part. This takes a long time. This took probably around like 15 hours off screen to get enough uh, rupees because I used the rupee grinding trick from that I showed earlier on in the LP to like dig in that one spot and you get like infinite red rupees. Yeah, but since your odds are so low and the shop sells uh, 30 mysterious shells for 200 rupees, it takes forever to get enough to do this. That is my least favorite part of the entire game actually. But, the good news is, we can actually talk to this guy now. I'm a rich guy, see? And I'm a collector to boot. Huh? Whoa! You did it. I can't believe you did it. This is a totally complete set. Incredibly awesome. And you even got the legendary Karlov medal. It shines with a beautiful light. It's every collector's dream. What you've shown me here, it's just... It's just amazing. Here, feel free to come in my house and take whatever you want, and thanks. Cause you know, I'm rich. <laughs> So he said something about a Karlov medal, and we don't actually get to see the Karlov medal. Uh, because there are six more figurines that are unlocked in the post-game, so... Yeah. This is the rich guy's house, hence the, like, gold statue on the roof. Okay, go inside this way, and you get a lot of rupees. I'm not gonna open the other two chests, uh, for obvious reasons, but we got the last piece of heart. This is also a photograph. It basically works as a sound test. That's all there is. We have finished the all. Well, we finished all we can do at this point. Um, you know what? Actually, while I'm here, might as well show this because I never actually showed it on the screen. Um, okay, so we got milk. Ha ha ha. But in any case, we are done with the side quest until the post game. So, uh, next time we enter Dark Hyrule Castle once more. Thank you for watching, and I hope you'll join me next time for more The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap.